So the Rockets lost tonight against the Minnesota Timberwolves and quite honestly it was a really bad game especially for the Rockets and you know we're going to be breaking down the game today talking about what we need to work on what you know each player did wrong and just getting going to be breaking down the game in general so before that if you like what you see drop it in below press the sub button we are trying to do some more NBA content now with the NBA regular season coming back so a lot more NBA and a lot more Houston Rockets videos are going to be coming out. So if you like what you see and that's what you like to see, drop it in below, press the sub button. It'd be really appreciated. We are trying to get to 1K by Christmas. I probably will be doing a giveaway. So yeah, there's that. And let's just get right into the video talking about the starting lineup because the starting lineup is pretty iffy in my opinion. Uh, honestly, Christian Wood was definitely our best player today for the Rockets. He finished with 16 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, really good stats, and a block. Uh, 6 of 15 from the field, which isn't all that great. 2 of 6 from 3, and then 2 of 4 from the free throw line. Free throws for Christian Wood are definitely a problem. Definitely isn't the most efficient, but you know he's not really that bad of a shooter. He did shoot 50% this game, but I definitely would like to see that. I'll go up to at least a perfect four for four. You should not be missing from the free throw line. It's just free points at that point. So uh, other than that, his field goal percentage wasn't all that great. Six of 15 from the field, two of six from three. That's the thing about this game. As a team, we collectively shot 46% from the field and then 33% from three. That's our problem with this team is that we are, we're pretty young. So we tend to put up a lot of crazy shots. Uh, Jalen Green was definitely the source of that putting up 14 shots overall he's the second highest behind christian wood we're definitely going to be missing a lot of shots and that's something we need to fix is our efficiency our efficiency and you know just kind of being playing as a team together because it was not looking that great today uh probably our second best player today was either daniel tice or kevin porter jr who are, like i don't even know honestly they both played pretty trash daniel tice 11 points five rebounds that's it four six from the field and then one and two from three KPJ had an absolutely horrendous game again, 11 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists, and a steal. On 4-12 from the field and 2-7 from 3, KPJ started off the game really slow and it was, I think, honestly the reason why we didn't win this game. Not saying that we would have won the game if he got off to a better start. It's just that a lot of plays in the beginning were slowly because of his fault and him turning over the ball and him handling the ball, which is something that we're going to get into later. The ball handling on this team, man, taking care of the ball is out of whack, out of control. We can't really keep a control. We can't keep control of the ball. We can't handle the ball. And it's really apparent. There was a lot of turnovers today. And it was it was just really bad. I mean, today as a team, we had 24 turnovers, which is something that's going to be an apparent thing moving forward in the season where we're going to have a lot of turnovers in the game because we're just pretty young. We're a really young team. KPJ alone had nine turnovers, so that just says a lot. And honestly, we're just like, we need to fix that problem where we lose the ball, especially when we're running our offense. It's just really sloppy. And with the Timberwolves being the team they are, Defensively, they aren't really that great, so we need to capitalize on that. And having nine turnovers for KPJ isn't gonna help that. So, uh, looking at the other starters, Jayshon Tate, two points, three rebounds, two assists. Wasn't really that surprised that he got the start over Eric Gordon, but it definitely helped us defensively. But offensively, it wasn't that great. You know, he only shot one shot. Well, he only made one shot out of four, and that's it. And then Jalen Green, nine points, four rebounds, four assists, and one steal. Negative 37 on the box score, 4 of 14 from the field, 1 of 6 from 3. Th this is the problem with Jalen Green. He's, his efficiency is just not going to be where it's at or where it's supposed to be or where every Houston Rockets fan wants it to be. 4 of 14 from the field is absolutely horrendous, 1 of 6. He did have some flashes, had a pretty great reverse layup, but that was the only moment I remember of him actually like scoring or pretty great bucket i think he had a corner three wide open corner three i think that was the only three he had jillian green i think it's going to take him some time to get into the flow of things get into the nba flow of things i think he's still pretty used to the g league and it being pretty slow pay slow pace so i think it's going to take him a couple of months maybe until the second half which is going to be a long time because that's not until march so hopefully Jalen Green figures it out by then because he has not been too impressive especially in the preseason although we did have that 20 point game in the preseason he's not looking too great right now and if he fixes his efficiency 
and the way he plays, then I think it's going to be set to win Rookie of the Year. But as of right now, it's not looking too great. And then off the bench, we do have some people to talk about. Eric Gordon, 15 points, 2 rebounds, 1 steal. I think moving forward, if we're keeping Eric Gordon, I think he's going to become a bench player for us. We do need some scoring off the bench, and Eric Gordon provides that for us. He did shoot 6 of 8 from the field and then 3 of 4 from 3. So really great to see Eric Gordon basically showing some flashes of being that 6 man he was a long time ago. So uh, I would like Eric Gordon to be our 6 man moving forward if we decide not to trade him. And just gives us that scoring that we need off the bench, especially with this really young Rockets team. Uh, other than that, I mean, there's nothing too much to talk about. Shane Goon had a pretty great game off the bench. 11 points, 8 rebounds. Not 8 rebounds. Uh, 11 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, and 3 steals. A very great game from Shane Goon off the bench. I think I still stand by this case where Shane Goon should start over Tyus. I think it's just better for the team, better for, honestly, the roster too, because we need some defense off the roster. We're off the bench, and uh, Shangun in the starting lineup, it definitely makes us worse in terms of the defense department, but offensively, I think it's going to become a little bit better because Tice, 4-6 from the field, only shooting 6 shots compared to Shangun's 4 shots, which should go up if he decides to start, is going to be better for us offensively. So I think Shangun should start over Tice. Not saying that it should be immediately or right now, but in the future, maybe around the middle of the season, I think he should start by then. Um, the other players, David Nawaba, 7 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals. Brings a lot of high energy. 3-7 from the field, 0-2 from 3. Efficiency was not there, but his energy was there. And it was. I think he was one of the most enjoyable players to watch on the team this night. Uh, KJ Martin, 7 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal. Wasn't all that great. Garuba, 4 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, 2 blocks. Great, he was great defensively. I did not watch the end of this game because it was just getting to the point where there was no point in watching. I did not watch the fourth quarter at all. I watched the first two quarters and then some of the third, but then kind of just... Yeah, kind of just dipped out. So, uh, DJ Augustine, two points, two rebounds. Actually, two points, two assists, and one steal. Was not that great. Armani Brooks, six points, two of four from the field, one of three from three. Not bad. And then Christopher, five points, one rebound, one assist, two steals on one of three from the field, and then one of one from three. So, yeah, overall, I think this Rockets team, they have potential to become very great, especially this season. I think it's a matter of them figuring it out and Steven Silas running the right plays. I think a huge factor in this Rockets team being great is the way Silas uses certain players. Because as of right now, I don't think he's using Jalen Green and Alperen Shangun right. They're mostly just doing like a KPJ Jalen Green thing where they have KPJ on ball and then next play they have Jalen Green come up with the ball and I think they need a concrete ball handler one player that handles the ball and i think that's the, that needs to be kpj or jalen green they need to make that decision right now in my opinion it should be kpj because jalen green i think he has more potential as a spot-up shooter and him running around screens i think the rockets they just need to have a new game plan our offense was absolutely atrocious today it was just a lot of just passing around and ball watching there wasn't too many ball cuts there wasn't too many off ball screens off ball cuts there there's just nothing it was a lot of ball handling a lot of ball watching at best so uh, and i partially blamed on steven silas he hasn't made any adjustments since last season our defense is horrible we haven't been making too many adjustments on defense and it's really apparent so if Steven Salas wants to stay, I think he needs to make some adjustments on the offensive and defensive end. And just make a new game plan overall because what we're running right now is not working. And now what I like about Steven Salas is that he is running some more plays for Christian Wood. And it's allowing him to flourish. You know, he did drop 16 points today, so not bad. But we need to run some other plays for KPJ and Jalen Green where they can get easy shots because they both shot horrendous from the field today. So... That's my take on the Rockets. Not too much about the Timberwolves. They pretty much just crushed us. You know, Carl Anthony Towns at 30 points. Anthony Edwards at 29. D'Lo, 22. Those three absolutely crushed us. So, uh, moving on to the next game. Our next game should be on Friday against the Thunder. That could be a winnable game because the Thunder did lose today. So, we could win the game. Probably not because I don't really expect this Houston Rockets team to win too many games. But if we do come up with a win... It's a dub, so uh, hopefully we come with the win on Friday, and honestly, just take this game as, you know, a lesson, and just move on. So that's the new deal. I'm JDZ, and I'm out. Peace.